Hey, good morning, guys. Check out this bedhead. Okay, so plan for today is get loaded up because we take off first thing tomorrow morning. So here's what I'm working on. So last night I got the tracks, windshield, and upper doors on Wraith and rear rear window. I've got one of those polycarbonate rear windows. Helps keep some of the snow out. Got the cooler on. Everything went freaking fantastic. Switching over is really maybe about an hour's work, and I really like doing it. It's it's uh, it's kind of like uh, relaxing. <laughs> so we got half poles coming. Uh, remember we had the really cool half pole insert that Taryn did us from Monsters of the North, but it was powder coated the Can Am red, which doesn't match um, this new 700 XMR red at all. So they took it back, they repowered coating it. So I just put the black plate on there. Bing bang boom. Anyway, so we have to haul this in the bed of our truck. So, because it, with the tracks, it's 55 inches wide. Well, that does not fit between the wheel wells. So I had some scraps laying around. So I just, hopefully this works. Put the ramps on, load up, and the front tracks will sit up there perfectly. Maybe partly on the wheel well, partly on the plywood, but it should, it should fit good. I have another chunk. Maybe I'll just uh, put it across there, but not. I don't think we'll need it. Anyways, so I got that sorted out because half pull has to go in the box and... Wraith and I got to get full pull in here and do some clutch maintenance on. Uh, Wraith and full pull will be in the trailer. So we got to get the hitch on with half pull in the box just to make sure everything lines up, which I'm sure it will. Uh, we'll throw our Rhino hitch on and uh, basically we'll throw half pull in the box, go hook up the trailer, make sure the clearances are all good. That Our enclosed trailer does have a little bit of a shorter hitch, but it should be fine. should be totally fine. So we'll get everything, we'll get that done, we'll get it hooked up and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm home by myself so I set up a GoPro just in case it is a complete fail, but hopefully it drives right in and walks right up there. Okay. All right, guys, that went freaking perfect. Smooth as, as you could hope. So it's literally perfect. The track front tracks are sitting right on top of those six by sixes. So strong as heck. Um, most of the weight, there's a tiny bit of weight on the tailgate, but not too bad at all. So man, I'm just rinsing off. Just like salt caked in everywhere. Ugh. You just hear everything rusting. So it'll be awesome. We'll see how long these power steps last. We had them on the Ram. They were aftermarket ones, but uh, they only ever lasted a couple years. And that was rinsing them out all the time, WD fording them, try to keep them going, but we'll see these ones. We got extended warranty, so we're not worried. So once we get the trailer on, we'll see how she squats. I think I'm definitely gonna put some bags on the back uh, with a controller, in-cab controller, with a compressor up under the hood. We had it on our power wagon and it worked freaking amazing. Never had any issues with it. The factory air system, we had that auto level on the Ram. Man, every two years that thing screwed up. So we ended up just running manual lines back to license plate. Unhooked the compressor, which like I said, crapped the bed every two years. So we were just able to add air through the license plate, but it's really nice being able to control it in the cab like we had on power wagon. So that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, so half pull is in. We'll throw a strap or two on her. What's really nice about this bed is there are freaking, uh, it's kind of hard to see with a quad in here, but there are strapping points everywhere, all along the side, all along the front. She got the full meal deal when it came to the box. Really nice lights, really nice thick box liner. We'll, uh, hopefully this front, oh yeah, we're plenty good. I was worried about the bumper for clearance, but it literally would have to ride up and not that it wouldn't in like, you know, if you got into, <laughs> if you got into a really bad crash, but that'd be the least of your worries. So there's no one in the backseat anyways, just close. Okay. So now we just got to put the hitch on, go hook up the trailer, make sure the clearances are all fine. And then we can start throwing stuff in the trailer. We still got to swap clutches on full pull. We got front fenders to put on full pull. So we got a little bit of work to do yet. Okay. Okay, last few touches, and we can't leave home without a few jugs of T4, because everything runs better on VP T4. <laughs> Freaking awesome. It's just an oxygenated fuel. You don't need any special tuning. You notice the throttle response instantly when you're running this, plus it smells like freaking heaven. <laughs> Get these two suckers filled up. Heck, yeah. Blast off first thing in the morning. Early the next morning. Hello. Good morning. So I 
just want to take a little video because I think right here or just up a little further is where we blew up. Hey, why you gotta bring that up? <laughs> exactly this trip two years ago, we blew up the Dooley going out to Tulamine. Um, so we're hoping to not repeat that. Look at this guy. <laughs> drive good so far? Short, shorter drive for you, but yeah. Yeah, so gas truck's got to start ahead of the big boys. <laughs> We'll see how it does. Seems to do okay. Not phenomenally better than the Dooley, but we'll see. Pushing a bit of a wind. Does it wander any differently? Uh, man, the Dooley track pretty straight. I want to say there's not that much difference. Like you think with the Dooley it would kind of, you know, wander out of the ruts, but man, it, it was pretty decent. It's really smooth, it's really quiet, and seems to be like having no issues whatsoever. 10 speed's really nice because it's it always finds the perfect gear like it's never too low or too high yeah exactly yeah so right on so we're just in kindersley so a few hours down i don't know what maybe six hours to go something like that so heck yeah Birch's first trip on a back countries oh frick got the upper doors on where'd you get that storage box that looks freaking awesome it's huge Holy cow. Wow, that thing's huge. Well, that's perfect. We're going to put Ryan in there. <laughs> I put my cooler on mine. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty decent storage cooler for drinks and some tools. Right on. It looks freaking so awesome. Man, it just fits, hey, on the trailer, like for width-wise. Perfect. Okay guys, so a little known fact, this is one of the only highways in Canada where the speed limit's 120. So we got the heavy Chevy. Now I think there's a really big climb coming up here, so we'll do a little video of that. But man, so far this thing's been just pulling like a beast. One thing that I have found, sorry, one thing that I have found is it's, it's really bouncy. Like it's supposed to have these Rancho off-road shocks, but it seems to give you two extra when you go over a big kind of hump or whatever. Didn't seem like the Dooley did that, but who knows. What were you going to say? Another known fact is you can actually eat pretty healthy on the road. <laughs> well, you, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's a total lack of snow here too. So hopefully when we gain in elevation, we gain in snow. But all in all, everything's going really freaking good. It is, a, as you can see, a beautiful day to drive. Like, like pretty much summer driving conditions, dry pavement, blue skies. So... Uh, I think we got what two two hours and we'll two hours till we're at Princeton so maybe two and a half hours before we're there so all right where are we at we are just leaving Princeton so we got maybe 25 minutes to get to where we're going it's super cool that's a little one-way bridge kilometers. and this next section is like super hilly super turny remember we seen goats last year or two years ago when we were here goats. maybe we'll see some goats again Billy goats? Yeah, Billy goats. <laughs> A few moments later. Look at these Ukrainians. <laughs> so Tyler and Ian drove all the way from Minnesota. It's about a 24 hour drive, they figured. Hey, buddy. And he bought a new truck. Just for you. For an F15000. Did it drive nice? Probably just beautiful, hey? Awesome. Yes, beautiful. Can't see anything. Sun's blaring. River's like, let me try to pee all over this yard. <laughs> let me get in this tree. Let me get right in that tree. All right. Freaking awesome. It is gorgeous. Out. And we're right across from the Can-Am ski doo sea -Doo dealer. Oh, yeah. We get plugs. And we'll see if we can rent some sea doos for this weekend. Early the next morning. Good morning. What's the, the temperature? It is minus 13 today, so it's not too bad. But we are looking at 
climb in this whole uh, mountainscape here and hoping that we don't slide back down. But this year it looks pretty good. It's not too icy, so we're thankful for that. What else have we got going on today, sir? The snow looks pretty dang good, actually. So, man, there's like a moose track in the middle there. Deer tracks there, crazy. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is a Squirrel. real crappy, <laughs> real crappy <laughs> section of road we got to climb up, but it's, uh, it's going good. Like Miss Sasa said, it's not real icy, just snowy, so we should be fine. We so made we were, it in the dooley. Yes, no I was just about to say, we made it in the dooley, so there's a few little spots here where there's, uh, dirt, but, uh, last night you got down to, what was it, minus 17? 17. 16, 17. Yeah. It was, it was cold. Yeah. Hey, good morning guys. <laughs> so we're all up here, we're unloaded and the freaking snow looks really good, you guys. I was a little worried, but it looks freaking fantastic. We're shaping up to be, to have a freaking awesome day. We got so many wild rigs out here. Heck yeah, freaking half poles out here. Dean's out here. Matt's out here with some new socks. <laughs> Dallas, Birch, Jimbo. Holy frick, it's gonna be a good day. Olivia. Tyler and Ian, Jeremy and Angeline. Oh my God, it's gonna be a good freaking day. Look at this guy on a quad finally. Mister, I make my own trail. He's usually on his Maverick Sport and he's freaking loving the quad. You can just go more more places with a quad than you can a side by side. Dallas is freaking loving them. He does stuff like this all the time. You got it! <laughs> Holy, that's crazy. He just needs a little bit of motivation. Yeah. He's, he's, think, he's thinking about a freshly shaped goat. <laughs> freshly shaved or shaped? <laughs> Nice. All right. Frick yeah. What a freaking gorgeous day, guys. We're going to have mostly bluebird probably. Yep. We've got pretty decent snow. Life is freaking good. We're going right to the peak of the mountain. Uh, how high? 2,000 meters? Uh, 1,900 so meters? So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Heck yeah. You'll see how much of a difference it makes. Awesome. Jeremy and Ashley. Tyler. Oh, that might be it. Heck yeah. So we got a little bit of powder sitting on kind of more set up snow, so but I'm not complaining like it's freaking snow, so we got nothing at home, so this is freaking awesome. Heck yeah! Guys, woo! 
Freaking beautiful. It was a long drive, but it was freaking worth it for just getting out with the boys, getting out some snow, and getting out and doing some freaking ripping. and 1,000. of this <laughs> you were almost inside Dallas there <laughs> okay we're trying to get together for a picture here so and then Birch gets raped <laughs> Awesome. 
Yeah, that's a pretty soft landing, actually. <laughs> you like craters. Frick yeah. I far smelt. Back, like way back there? Oh, way far. Oh, like 10, 10K. Holy so God. I smelt burning and I'm like, man, oh, hey. what is that? Freaking dollars. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's a. Like near new. Oh, that's how it was running the whole time? Yeah. Oh. I get up here, I'm like, uh oh. Oh, <laughs> there was so, well, obviously oh, all your oh, stuff, oh, man. There was black chunks every like. We're Jeez. Like black chunks. I'm like, really? what? Is that a track? Like, what is it? Yeah, that? like what is coming apart? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, water. Just freaking destroyed. Destroyed it. Oh. Oh, this is, I know this doesn't look like much, but there's about 10 inches of powder on top of a real, real kind of icy stuff. But it seemed like the tracks were digging in really good. I don't know if anyone else is going to try. I kind of slid over to the side. I don't know if the GoPro died or not, if it got it, but it wasn't exactly a real, <laughs> real easy way up here. But I think, wow, it's hard to say if the side by sides would make it. It'd be awesome to try, but it would suck to have to back down. Okay, here comes Ian in half pull. Oh, she's still chewing. Heck yeah, half pull. Guys, I'm telling you, no backcountry tracks. Half the power. I don't want to speak too soon, but heck yeah. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> he can keep going right up to that road. God, that quad impresses the heck out of me, you guys. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's freaking something else. Like I know on camera this doesn't look like much, but that is a long, steep pull in, in pretty cruddy conditions. <laughs> Frick yeah. All the way up and I followed I don't I don't want to say this always happens to Dallas, but this always happens to Dallas. Yeah, it happened to me. You know why it yeah. happened? Because I was coming down there and all of a sudden there was a god awful trench from somebody that went up there. It was like three feet deep and I was like, oh, Man, I, I almost didn't make it. <laughs> I'm like, baby, start chewing. <laughs> so that was before or after you lost all your shit from the Is <laughs> 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 how screwed it was? It just so burnt. Right there, look at it. There it yeah, is. Yeah, Whoa. Like, oh, my goodness. How does this track look on this side? Perfect. Like, it literally looks perfect. Like, they come off the showroom floor it's, it's with like those gigantic new. gouges. <laughs> Did you buy that track? <laughs> Holy cow. Holy, it's the whole way around, too. Extra bite. A a anything that can go wrong with tracks, it's happened to him at one time or another. <laughs> there has not been a single ride I've come that Dallas hasn't wrecked something. He's always fixed it. But I'm, I'm positive every time I come, two something's happened. Oh, <laughs> two, two well, I was there. I wasn't here. I wasn't here. There's always <laughs> some team wall. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. How do you feel? Do you feel like you just accomplished? Kind of cool. Right. You're like, yeah. You're like a duck Look at this bit. Woo! Good job. Good job. It's because it's 10 horsepower here. Yeah. Oh, oh horsepower. and oh wow! Horsepower. Bam! 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 <laughs>
underestimate. Yeah. I think it should be called Bam Bam now. <laughs> bam Bam! Where is Birch? He's, oh, over He's over there sanding his vagina. Hey, Birch! Trying to rinse the sand out. The road goes right up around so you can drive up top and take a picture of yourself. Say you made it to the <laughs> <laughs> Take a really good run. Okay, he's sizing this up. This is gonna be really, really good. I don't know if he's, he's still deciding if he's gonna do it. I'll tell you guys, he doesn't hear this, but if you break something, I'll fix it. I'll, I'll supply the parts. Woo! That was mint, and it landed. <laughs> it landed super nice, too. The only thing Bert's never done right is life. I think we're starting to make a plan on heading back down, so it's been a freaking awesome day. But I think we're gonna start making our way back to the trucks, getting pretty late in the day. Frick, what an awesome day. Look at this crow. Oh, he gone. He gone. Ah.